You know, he was violent from age three years old. He was, uh, he was, the teachers were scared of him. He was a menace in all the classes that he was in. He prevented all the other children from, from getting a, a good education. And all this time, they prioritized his rights over the rights of all the other kids in his classes. And we finally thought that we were gonna get justice. He planned this out. Everyone saw all the evidence that the state presented. He did research. He planned this out. He wore a JROTC uniform to disguise his, uh, who he really was. He lied to the, tax, the Uber driver so he wouldn't be found out telling her that he had an instrument in there and he was in an orchestra. He is a, a sociopath and he did this, he planned it out, it was premeditated. He said his intentions were to kill 20 people. The only reason he stopped was because he couldn't find anybody else to kill. He didn't think anybody was left in the school. And then he did this, and then for three and a half years, he says he's not guilty. All of a sudden he changes his mind and he pleads guilty, he saw the writing on the wall, and we thought that we were going to get justice. We thought that, that he was going to be held accountable for his actions. All this time, he had no consequences. He was able to accumulate over 55 different disciplinary incidents in school. Law enforcement was at his house over 40 times. And he was never arrested. We thought that we were finally going to get justice for what he did to Alex and all the innocent others. And uh, we're just devastated, my wife and I. We thought that we were going to get the death penalty today. It's, it's so upsetting to hear that, that one individual prevented that from happening. We sat through this, this trial for months, listening to all of this, this testimony from the defense learning that people would call him where he's received hundreds of phone calls telling them that they love him. It's unbelievable how you could love the worst high school mass murderer in history. It's, it's, it's just uh, unbelievable. We're shocked and we're devastated. and what looked like visible pain as this process was going on. The four person looking over at them with concern. To those jurors, did you see that? What were your reactions yourself as you saw that there definitely seemed to be a striking difference in body language from those jurors? Yeah, I, I was worried when I saw that. And I think what we're going to find out is that there was a lot of tension in, in that jury room. and. Um, you know, we don't, we don't know what happened, we'll, we'll find out, but it was just, uh, you listen to all the evidence and, and, and understanding what he did uh, to murder, going up and down all those three floors of stairs and hunting down uh, all of his victims, shooting them from down the hall and then going over and executing them at point blank range. How, how, could, you, how could you not give him the death penalty and I, I think that that one juror that, that voted for life is going to live to regret that uh, for the rest of his life. One thing that also sticks with me, I think the <laughs> building tour after the jurors of that 1200 building, and as we were listening to the judge reading the, the verdicts, I was thinking to myself, this person, obviously, even with that experiential evidence, even seeing the exact spot where your son died, they still walked out feeling like the defense's reasons for life outweighed that. I think, I think the defense used tricks at the end to just make people feel guilty um, and try to get them to not focus on the facts. But, you know, it was the jury's responsibility to, you know, make a decision based on the facts. The aggravators way out, uh, you know, out, outdid the mitigating factors. You know, we've, we've had many, many people in our country that, that have been born and, and mothers have, have smoked or drank. They don't go on to become mass murderers. And, and to 
to, to not punish the, this, the worst high school shooter in U.S. history after what he did to, to Alex and all the 16 others is just a travesty of justice, and uh, it, it's, it's just heartbreaking.